<laughs> All right, Sedge, what are we working on here? <laughs> okay, check it out. We got some new acquisitions to the Sedge Tool Shop, and I need to show you how to use this stuff, Big D, because this stuff is wicked awesome. Sounds good. Hey, Sedge, what you working on there? Okay, so check it out. I have this box of nuts and bolts, mm -hmm. and most of it I know is in metric. This is my metric, but you know how I like to organize everything? Everything. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going through and checking the threads on these, and this is a new thread chaser I just got from, let me rem Stupid Simple Tools. Yes. I just love the name. They sent it to us. And as a standard one, metric, this is our Identabolt Pro. Oh, wow. What's nice, it's all magnetic. You got a couple location pins here on the back. But it's kind of like, you know, when you go into a, a Lowe's or a Home Depot, they have the thread chases. This is really nice. It's all magnetic. Oh, wow. It can go in your mechanics chest. But I just love it. And what I'm doing now is I'm sorting through this to organize in my Festool organizer. Oh wow. But I'm gonna talk about this differently in a minute because there is some new stuff in here. That's cool. All right, Sedge, what's up here? Okay, so this is the Festool Sys Org. Yep. And it's based on a grid system. And you get these, and look at the height of it, you get these containers mm -hmm. from Festool. All right, and when you put stuff in there, and you put it down, the grid locks everything, so there's no shifting, there's no jumbling. It's a great system. But I met a guy recently, his name is Tyler, mm -hmm. and he has a company called Forge 3D. And he had one of these, and I go, yeah, so what? I go, you make different color ones. He goes, no, they're different. So they're the same height as the traditional Sys org containers, but he makes them for like smaller pots, and he makes different colors and it all walks in here. But what really intrigued me is, you know, I'm sorting through and organizing stuff with the uh, thread chaser here. The, in this box of nuts and bolts that are metric, I don't have, if I put them in here or here or here, there's not a lot out of them. So he also makes them so they stack, see that? So now I can double the capacity on small pots in here and they still all lock and it makes different colors, okay? And they all fit and nestle right in there. So the nice thing about the Sys Org system is you could take it like this and say you're in a truck van, mm -hmm. right? It still locks it in so nothing gets jostled in there. And yes, we'll have a link just in the description for some of the other products that I'm gonna cover now with Forged 3D. All right, Sedge, what's this? Okay, so, a lot of people out there 3D print stuff. Oh yeah. Okay, and there's people out there that have a holder here for the sanders, okay? <clears throat> this one's for a six inch, right? Mm -hmm. RO90, right? Forged 3D, I mentioned the stackable uh, containers, mm -hmm. okay? But their system, and it's a great system that they came up with, is where these attach, these pieces and parts. Now, I have just a few things, but this is the, I think, this is my opinion, I think this is the heart of their system, and it is really robust, okay? If we look at the profile here, it's obvious, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, if I want to take my Rotex and hang it, on my MFT, I have two options. I can have this piece that slides right in the V groove like this, okay? And I can hang my Rotex in there. It is right there where we need it, say we're sanding something. Mm -hmm. But here's the beauty of Forge 3D system. There's also this piece right here. You see the little tab right there? And everything is machined precisely. So what if I'm out on the job site, I have a five inch sander. Okay, I don't have an MFT and I'm working. They make it, that tab fits right in front of a sustainer. Oh wow. And locks in and is really, I use the word robust, because that's what I was concerned of when I first saw it. And look at that. Nice. Absolutely perfect. So you can do that with a variety of things they make. Like if I'm on a job site, I would use this tab. Now this one, because I didn't want it to stay up high, there's a, a clamp holder 
that slides right into that T groove right there. Nice. Well, right? Why? So it works perfect. Now this is the one that I was intrigued with. Okay, it's a hose holder. That's what it looks like. It, it is, yeah. right? But I really like it because you know I'm always fumbling for something. And see how that slides right in? Mm -hmm. And I use it for my plug-it cords. It's absolutely perfect. I always have a plug-it cord right there. Go to the website. Yes, I'm promoting this Forge 3D because Tyler has some really innovative products and it's all based on how you can attach it in different systems. That's awesome. Super handy. So if you look at this front here, you'll see it says Grabo. Remember the Grabo we got? Yeah. Okay. Everybody's got Grabos nowadays. It's a must tool for the shop. I'll probably, we'll probably do a video later this year on it. But I don't like the bag it comes in. So Forge 3D, get in here, Chris, so you can see this. If you have two Grabos, they fit right in here. You have these little pieces here that you put in and you can store your Grabo. And if you have two, which I know a lot of people do, you could put two Grabos in a sis. Remember how to read this? This is a sis generation three and it's a two, three, seven. And that's what the, the Grabo insert goes into. Nice. All right, Sedge, what's that? Okay. It looks familiar. Yeah, kind of. Okay. So underneath this board, we have those anti-skid non-slip mm -hmm. pods, right? And, but what if I need to work this edge here? Oh. Okay, it would hit my MFT table. So what UJK came up to, and you could start spinning those. All right, I'm gonna take these out. These elevate this piece, and you can control it here and lock it in oh. so they maintain the same height. And these are basically cookies, anti-slip cookies. We'll put it in just like this, right? And there you go. Now I can work this, sand that edge if need be. Nice. Okay, route this, it's anti-slip. And it's a great bench cookie. It's an adjustable bench cookie from UJK Technologies. Check it out. All right, Sedge, what we got here? Check it out, what's it say on there? Blue Spruce okay. Toolworks. Feel how thick it is, okay? This is the one of the ones we use a lot, okay? And I'm I was very stoked to get one of these, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so let's zero this out. Okay, so this is a, a Lee Nielsen one. I've had it forever, and let's check the thickness of it. Okay, it's 0.48, actually half a millimeter. Okay. Okay, let's look. This is another one I've had for, oh my God, years and years. Okay, let's look at the thickness. It's basically 0.78 three quarters of a millimeter, mm -hmm. roughly. That's a lot thicker. Yeah. Oh, I was so stoked about this. It is a millimeter and a half thick. Wow. Okay, so what's important about that is on a traditional, let's just grab this Lee Nielsen that you and I use all the time, okay? And I got this, oh my God, I just love this piece. I think we've had it in videos before. Uh, this is uh, red oak. That's got a good curl to it, so it's a really wacky grain, but it, that's why you use a scraper, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but remember I taught you about a scraper. You always cut, take your thumbs like this and you, you go like this and you end up with what? A little bit of a scalloping. Mm -hmm. So you have to cover the whole surface and you're taking such a light shaving. With this, there's no bending, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and boy, do you get an incredible scrape with this. Oh, wow. I still use it the same way, but boy, does this come out nice. Look at that. Uh, this is a killer addition to the Sedge Tool Shop. So Big D, what do you think? <laughs> a lot of cool new stuff, that's for sure. Yeah, I think they're great additions to the Sedge Tool Shop from the, right, let me get this right, stupid, simple tools to the Forge 3D pieces, thank you Tyler, to the Blue Spruce Scraper, I think that's one of my favorites. And of course, UJK Technologies, keeps coming out with some really great stuff mm -hmm. to amplify the MFT table. So, as we always say, be positive, stay sharp, wicked, wicked sharp. sharp.